Hello everyone, this is Endgame Moss with the Boxing to break down to the demo. This is Rainbow Six Vegas 2, the complete edition for the PlayStation 3. To start off, this is an import, and this cut version is only available as an import for the PlayStation 3. This comes with the Fan Pack DLC on disc, as well as it comes with generally all of the updates on disc. But there was a small 52 megabyte big update available for the game. My save file also did not transfer over from the original vanilla version of the game. This might still likely due to the fact this is an import and not original US version of the game. Again, uh, I have some uh, past playtime with the Rainbow Six Vegas games. I want to start off immediately to stating I have never played the campaign in any of the Rainbow Six Vegas games. It never really interests me. The one thing I always enjoyed playing the most was Terrorist Hunt, and I always loved playing it with split screen, which this is does still available have the split screen to the game. Again, like I said, the game is awfully uh, realistic and realistic with quotation marks on there but it is a still a fun and challenging game if you put it on higher difficulties the game isn't that advanced as like i said it is pretty old even considering nowadays standards and if you play it the ai is not the smartest or the greatest but it's still a fun little experience to sit down and play and it's really nice to actually have a complete edition of version of the game it's not really complete because there are other dlcs available but it's nice to have the extra map and a few extra little updates here and there to the game if you're very that much love those kinds of things like I do and you're col uh, collecting of the game. Again, like I said, it's a, it's a more of a first-person shooter, but it does introduce a pretty good uh, cover-based shooter where you can just hold down a button and it will take cover and you can lean over and shoot. You got night vision or heat thermal goggles you can equip to then help you see through smoke and stuff. and As well as you can do a lot of customization to your character, then more so than you can do it from the first one. As well as this one, you're able to progress that character by just playing offline by yourself, by unlocking your outfits and so on and so forth getting guns and armor pieces and then customizing how your face looks and all that stuff in the game. Like I said, it's definitely more rewarding than that. Like I said, I very rarely played the story mode. I actually really don't remember it that much. It doesn't. It's pretty much the same kind of experience, but you have AI partners that you command around. And again, the AI partners are not the greatest either. Again, it's just... It, it is a rough game on a size, even to, its, to even back then, but it still was this very well-made game that was very enjoyable and it was really fun to play it with someone, as well as I have heard that the uh, online multiplayer was really fun back in the day, but I did not have high-speed internet, so I was never able to enjoy it back then, so I, I don't really care to do so now. I've always enjoyed playing bot mode and stuff like that than playing against people and stuff or playing co-op. Like I said, the game is really good if you play split screen with people. You have one person you can sp uh, talk to and coordinate with while someone's covering your back that you personally know in real life. It's a lot of fun and I enjoy it that way. As you can see from the game experience, there is a slight stutter going on. I do not know if that was my game copy or my console maybe getting old. I don't know. It was really weird. I do have an Xbox 360 version, but it's the vanilla version, and I did not have the stuttering effect. I went back and checked, so I don't know if that's just the PS3 version, or if it's the PAL version, or if it's just my PS3. I really don't know. So if you happen to get the copy, let me know. I would like to know if it's just something on my end. But uh, the stuttering effect really did hurt the game a little bit for me. It was a little annoying. I did it very randomly. But in the end, it's still a pretty good experience with it. The game worked fine for me. I still played multiple levels of maps. And the, I mean, the terrorists are still the not the super brightest, but they were still fun and challenging. Especially if you put it on the realistic high difficulty. I mean, even with the lowest number amount of terrorists, it was still nerve-wracking. But it also was kind of disappointing how the enemy does sometimes like teleport and just some reason just rush at you for no apparent reason. It's like they just knew you were there. It's kind of how it usually worked in the older times and stuff. But again, I know it makes it sound like I'm talking a lot of smack about the game, but even with all that, it's still a decent experience. I'm really glad that they have this complete version here. It's still a really enjoyable. I was really having fun. Again, as I said, it's a lot more fun if you play in split screen. If you're curious about story and stuff like that, you're a special operative and there's a big terrorist thing going on in Vegas, so in the name. 
And it's then you basically going in there and trying to eliminate the terrorists. It's not the most enriching story or anything like that. But again, I didn't really play it too much because it wasn't what I was interested in. Terrorist Hunt was where I go, and I still recommend it more than the story mode. And I mean, you can play Terrorist Hunt with uh, AI partners as well. But again, they're not the best or the greatest in the game. But it's nice to have at least somebody you can watch your back in the game. Because trust me. Playing Terrorist Hunt, the computer seems to find, always find a way to come on your back. <laughs> it just happens. It, you never see it coming. But, again, I will leave links down in the description if you're interested to copy. Which, name? it's up to you, really. It didn't cost me too much to pick up a copy, and it's still available by my understanding. So, if you're a complete collector like I am, it's worth your little pickup if you get a chance. So, thank you all for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button if you want to see more videos from me. And I'll see you guys in my next episode. Bye-bye!